Hello people, this is Vera, the Culinary Quilter. I'm here with my March subscription box from Archer and Olive. And I am just like a little bit saddened because of the way it was delivered to me. Look at this, it's all ripped open. I did none of this, it came like this. It's just packs and stuff all inside. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'll be able to see everything in there. Nothing is damaged. So here goes. I'm going to take everything. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is interesting. A box outside of a box. A little extra to nibble on. Oh, my goodness. What could this possibly be? Oh, I'm getting all excited. <laughs> it, <laughs> here we go. We have some watching tape. Ooh. Look at this. That is so cute. Oh, nice cards. Affirmation cards. It says, your future creative energy runs through me. Yes, it does. I approve of my art. Hmm, yes, I do that too. So these are really cute. I am a visual storyteller. Oh, yes, I can tell you some stories. My art speaks to those who need it. True, true. I am confident in my self-expression. There's quite a few of them here. I'll go through the rest of them a little bit later, but that was very nice. I'm gonna put this over here to the side. And let's take a look at the washi tape. Oh, this is very nice. Ah, strawberries. I love strawberries, but I'm allergic to strawberries. Isn't that awful? Anyway, I do like the washi tape. So now I'm going to put that to the side. And finish taking the postage wrapper off. Now, this looks really nice. Gather your blanket and pack your favorite lunch. Bring your supplies to a special spot that brings you happiness as we enjoy a charming picnic. Mmm, a picnic. Let's see what all things we get to bring to a picnic. Now we still have the outer box here. I'm just going to take the plastic off of that, which is good. I like the green color. I'm not usually a, a fan of green. But I think the cinnamon flowers on here, pink and cinnamon or light cinnamon florals, look really nice. I'm going to try to figure out which way to open. So I don't, I don't like to tear it unnecessarily. I like to try to preserve it as much as I can. And this is not allowing me to do that. Hmm. And there's no way to open it up. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's not it either. And I don't want to tear it. Yes, I am struggling to get it open because I, I want to preserve the box itself. Sometimes weight have a tendency to push things down, but this is not pushing down. Well, it was. Well, at least I know nothing may have come out of it. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Oh my goodness, how do I get into it? Hmm. Oh, there we go. It pushes down. 
that? That was a puzzle. Alright, so it seems like I'm going to slide these out. upside down look like okay so we're gonna start with the little set of wooden icon stamps well wow, let's see what this is oh wow this is really nice look at that the box is actually made of wood Oh, look at this. Isn't that cute? I think it goes like this because the strawberry is upside, is right side the way it's supposed to be, and the ladybug. And it also comes with a little stamp of ink. Oh, these are very nice. Very nice wooden stamps. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And let's see, the next box, next smallest box is, this is a set of two storage crates. Storage crates? Oh my god! <laughs> if this isn't the cutest thing ever. You just click that in. Oh my goodness, and you have a little storage crate. That is so cute. And these just snap in to lock it. Now, that is inventive. That is very nice. Oh, oh look. Whoopsie daisy, all the way came out. I'm going to put them back in. Top is on nice and easy. And try it again. Okay, here we go. Now we got the stamps, the washi. Could be something else coming too. And then we're going to put this on here. This is really nice. I love this. So, then... This is a dot grid notebook. There's 112 pages. And let's open this up. I'm gonna take a pen and scrape it across to tear the plastic so we can get into it. You know, I really love these little mini journals because I use them at, oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I use these as like my, when I go on vacation, this is kind of like my vacation journals that I use. Yeah. Nice dot grid. Oh, look at that work inside. That is beautiful. And it also has a little pocket as well. I like this. I love the color. I don't know if you want to call this gold or cinnamon, but it looks goldish cinnamon. And the pink just accentuates everything on there. And it's a dot grid. Now this could fit. Let me put this in the back. Because we got the short stuff in the back. And then. Put the boxes over here out the way. Now these are oh, calligraph pens. I have a set of these. So now I think I have a nice little collection. Uh oh, the top came out. Top is in the bottom. I hope this hasn't dried out. Nope, it's nice and wet. Okay, so the top came back on it. But I love these are water based ink. And this is Charming Picnic. Wow, these are very nice. I'll have to do another video where, where I do my swatching and test everything out. And I think I'm going to test it out in this notebook. 
journal. So let's put this back on, put that in the front. And then solar scrap paper. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. All right, that's interesting. Make sure I don't cut it by accident. Uh, let me see, does it have, usually they have like a, um, oh, wait a minute, here we go, pull apart right here. There we go. Uh, uh, ooh, look at this. This is interesting. Let me see. Wait to open. Please see back for more information. It says don't. Oh, oh. What? It says don't expose it to the light. Duh. That's why I was in black paper. I wish I'd have seen that sooner. Okay, we'll do a uh, swatching of this when I get everything situated. But solar paper, solar scrap paper, and now. This is the feature of the packaging. This Archer and Olive. Wow, this is a big one. This is a B5. Very nice. That grid. Yep, it's a B5. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love the gold. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? It just flipped up in a little bit. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. This feels so nice and soft. This this is look feels like embroidery. It's raised. Yes, this is embroidery. This is. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Yes, with the same inside. This is really, really nice. That grid. Oh, I can't wait. Now, for, um, it looks like there's a dent in here on the paper right here. I don't know if you can see that. It went through several pages, like something was here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at this tore. I may have to send this one back. First time I ever. Because all of these pages feel like they got tore and they still use them anyway. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. See right here? The dimple in the paper. Yeah, the paper got messed up. And then as they, it looks like it's like that throughout for all of those pages. <sighs> it's not... Well, I don't know. I have to call them and see what I can do. Because the pa page was torn and it was pushed back up and it made an indent on every single page. I guess when they were pressing it all together. Because this page just tore off. Look at that, how it extends over. Oh, that's a disappointment. But other than that, the cover page is nice. Actually, I'm looking at the, the detailing of this. It looks kind of off. See right here, this piece is higher. This piece is lower. Doesn't look like they were done a good job on it. And this feels very loose. This right here, that feels very loose. Oh, I hadn't noticed that before. But anyway... This is the March subscription box. Love the detailing. This feels like really smooth. Um, it's not leather. I'm sure it's probably faux leather, but it still feels really nice. It's really nice. It, it really is nice. I'm just disappointed that the inside page was torn. And, um, oops, put that in the wrong way. I'm gonna take this out. I'm going to put it back in the box, and I'm going to call them and see what I could do as far as exchanging it for one that's not torn or um, assembled. 
position correctly. So anyway, this is the haul for today. Today is March. Oh, today is March 10th. So that means I got my box fairly early. I think it shipped a couple of days ago. But anyway, this is the haul. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know if you like this haul here. There we go. Okay. This is Vera, the culinary quilter. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a good day.